Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a tutorial on the makeup look that I was wearing in my Sephora VIB haul. In the comments of that video, so many of you guys requested a tutorial on the look, and I've also been getting a lot of requests on Instagram messages and Twitter, so I've decided to film that for you guys today. It's so easy to recreate, it's just one eyeshadow. I really think it's the eyelashes and eyeliner that make the look. But other than that, it's super simple, so if you guys are interested in seeing exactly how I got this look, then please keep watching. I'm starting off by priming my eyes with Air Patrol from Benefit, and you guys, I have seriously been loving this eye primer. I think it's new. I love how you can blend out the primer with the tip. It's this gushy material. It's so awesome. <laughs> but then I took the Magnetic Eye Color in the shade Guilt. This is by Nude Sticks and I'm just applying this all over my eyelid as a base. The shadow I used is by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Surface of the Sun. I seriously just applied this all the way from the lid up to my crease, blended it out so it didn't look sloppy, but that is the only eyeshadow I used. Priming my face with Hangover RX by Too Faced. I have been loving this recently. Um, so nourishing and hydrating to the skin, so I applied that everywhere. And then I applied the Kogendo Aqua Illuminator in the shade Sheer Beige all over my skin before I did foundation. Sometimes I like to do it before foundation, sometimes I like to mix it in. For that particular look, I did apply it before foundation. I'm using Dior Star Foundation. I'm in the shade Sand. I applied this all over my face with my fingertips where I particularly want the most coverage, which is the center of my face, and then blended all of that foundation out with my Beauty Blender. And if you're curious, I am wearing uh, Dr. Lip Nipple Balm, Nipple Balm, on my lips. <laughs> The concealer I used is by Gorgeous Cosmetics. I believe I'm in the shade medium or light medium. I'll have the correct one linked down below. I applied this onto the tip of my finger and then underneath my eyes. I get better control and just blend it out as much as I can with my fingertips. But to get all of the excess product blended out, I do use the tip of my beauty blender as well. I'm taking the shade Cocoa Butter from the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Kit and I am setting my under eye concealer just to prevent any creasing and this also helps keep it nice and bright. And then I'm taking the two contour shades from the contour kit and contouring my face. I'm not setting my foundation because I have found that I personally really love the finish of the Dior Star Foundation without powder. And if I'm not planning on having my makeup last forever, I don't need to set it with a powder. You guys have seen me contour a million times. I just like a little bit of definition. I went in with Lancome Star Bronzer in Solaire on a big fluffy brush and same as usual, you guys have seen this a million times, I just bronzed up my skin. This is a really gorgeous red undertoned bronze. It's very beautiful. And then on a little uh, smudgy brush, I did take some bronzer and just work that into the lower lash line just so the whole look goes together. And then for highlight, I'm using Laura Mercier in the shade Indiscretion. I picked this up on a big fan brush. I broke the brush away from the ferrule on accident so I'm just kind of holding it by the ferrule <laughs> but it still works perfectly fine so I just highlighted my whole entire face I wanted it to all look really nice and illuminated I also took that highlight on my fingertips and applied it to the inner corner of both of my tear ducts and I got my eyeshadow to look super shiny by picking up the highlight on the Real Techniques uh, setting brush and working that all over the eyelids as well. Going in with Revlon Colorstay Skinny Liquid Liner, I did a wing. Um, if, I kept going out of frame, I'm so sorry, but if you guys would like a liquid liner tutorial for hooded eyes, I'd be happy to do that for you. Just be sure to leave a comment down below. And then I went in with uh, this eyeliner by Buxom. It's in the shade Call Me. 
and I lined my eyes from outer corner to inner corner on the lower lash line. This is a gel pencil so it lasts forever. I'm next going in with their Real from Benefit and L'Oreal Shocking Extensions. I used the L'Oreal Shocking Extensions Mascara, the waterproof version, on my top lashes just so that they would hold their curl. And then on my lower lashes to really elongate them and give them a nice wispy effect, I used Benefit Their Real. These lashes that I used, which I think totally make the look, are Big City Nights from Eskido. And then I lined my lips with MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Whirl. And then I'm taking the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip. This one is in the shade Teeny Tiny. And just applying that all over my lips. And I totally love this on its own as a matte, but in that look, I did have Buxom White Russian Lip Gloss on top for a glossy lip, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, I also do like it on its own as well. But like I said, for that look, I did have a gloss on top. Alright guys, and this is the end result. I hope you liked this makeup tutorial. If you have any questions about anything, then feel free to leave them down below and I will get back to you. Don't forget to come follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I will have all three of those down below for you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys!